So today it's going to be about Trump. Not my favorite subject, and I tried not to mention his name too much. I just don't want to get that energy out there. But I hope you like the video. This has been a of your question. If you do like it, please like it. Um, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so here's what happened. Uh, one of my viewers, GMA5, thank you so much, GMA. Uh, wanted to know a couple of questions. I'll just read right off here what, what she said. She says, uh, will Trump be uh, found to be an illegitimate president? And uh, will Trump end up in a mental hospital? So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to get right to it. You know, I said we're going to get right to it, but I do want to uh, mention this. If you've got something that you want me to draw cards on, tell me. You know, just say it in the comments. Um, I don't like particularly negative um, subjects, but I'll do it. So pretty much uh, within reason, uh, I'll answer your questions or, or attempt to or let the cards do it anyway. So give me a shot. So Le Grand Circus and Sideshow Tarot by Joe Lee. These are really terrific cards. They come in a very nice box. If you received them as a gift or gave them as a gift, you'd feel like, oh, that's a, that was a nice gift. And um, the cards themselves are really nice. Um, they're done in the style of sort of circus posters. And uh, the guidebook uh, is really a very nice little guidebook. This fellow Joe Lee uh, was a very interesting uh, person, or is a very interesting person. And um, I want to find, there's a little bit here that talks about him. Um, but he was a circus performer. He went to the Clown College in Florida, which I'm from Florida, and I'm very well with the Clown College here. Uh, uh, that uh, you can go to to get a degree in that and then uh, he's done other things in his life and then once he decided uh, that he would create uh, tarot cards he uh, designed these um, to be so very useful they're easy to use um, the art on them is amazing and if you know your right away system you're not going to have a problem you know deciphering uh, what these cards are, are going to mean I mean they're pretty self-explanatory and fun 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 to look at so you know, I do this so that you can have a look at these cards. Uh, and, you know, if you're not a person who collects cards or looks at a bunch of tarot cards, otherwise you're only going to see the few cards that a reader pulls at a time. And uh, I think it's just that you're missing out on a lot. So, you know, this uh, Le Grand uh, Circus Sideshow Tarot, I love using these. Okay, we're going to look into the depths of Donald Trump. GMA5, thank you so much for asking the questions. I know you've been a loyal viewer, and I, you don't know how much I appreciate it. Um, but uh, the question you have now is, uh, let me read this off to the side here while I'm trying to shuffle and look over there at the same time. So will Trump be found to be an illegitimate president, and then will he end up in a mental hospital? So uh, I like both of those, actually. So Trump, 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 will he be found to be an illegitimate president. You know, there's something interesting. I don't remember where I saw it, but be, um, be I think it was before the uh, where the election, the 2016 uh, ugh, horror show. And then um, after Obama, someone, I don't know if it was a psychic or just a joke, but someone said that Obama would be our last president. And uh, I think they were right, because Trump was not a president. So Obama was the last president. Then, of course, we got uh, th that guy, uh, Mr. 45, in. And now we're off on a new cycle with a real president. So let's see. Will he be found to be an illegitimate president? Will Trump be found to be an illegitimate president? And there's no time frame on this. I think we'll just say, in general, ever. Will, will, will it be decided that he was an illegitimate president? And I thought these were just the perfect cards 
for that whole sideshow. So we'll do this. I think we'll do six cards and see where that takes us. So one will trump be found to be an illegitimate president ever. First of two of Gmod's questions. So will Trump be found to be an illegitimate president? The signifier of that is the king of coins. So this is interesting. So, you know, of course, you know, coins are, are value and uh, can even be money. But this kind of looks like Trump to me. I'm going to say this king of coins is Trump. So he certainly is the king of trying to scoop up all the coins that he can. The challenge to that, then, is going to be this ten of swords, which is the end, uh, an end, a definite uh, stop. Uh, nothing else is going to happen. Something new is going to have to start after this. It's typically depicted in the Rider Waite uh, deck as a, um, a fellow land on the ground with ten swords in his back. So... That's interesting because we see that the king of coins is challenged by an end. That seems to lean in your way, Gma. Now, the bottom of this reading, then, is the knight of coins. So the knight, like I say so many times, is the, is the uh, personage in the royal suite who's there to take his charge, which in this case is value, and run with it and make it happen. So I don't know how to quite uh, read this into this story yet, but we'll uh, put it here and let it stew for a minute. So the Knight of Coins is the base of this reading. It could be as simple that he was a knight trying to find some value, because I think this whole presidential run for him in the very beginning was just to boost his brand. I don't think he thought that he would win it. Uh, the past of this reading is the emperor, the emperor in the past. So what does that mean? What does that mean? Was he the man who was so in charge of his empire that, um, I don't know, I, I wanted to say that coming down to be the president, but I mean, that world stage that he got was invaluable to him. So the emperor, I think this still might be talking about Trump. In the sky of this reading, we've got the uh, five, five of what? Five of swords. And these swords are actually sort of uh, twisted. And, and, and this is a, an abuse of power. So this plays right into your question, Gma. An abuse of power up in the sky was the best that he could ever hope for was to be an abuser of the power of that office. Maybe he thought that he was going to come in and be an emperor, but in fact, the best he could do was to be someone who just abused that power. And then the um, likely outcome of the first part of this uh, uh, cross, and I might go on to make it a full Celtic cross, is the Queen of Coins. Now look at this Queen of Coins. She's really looking at the accounts and she's tallying up the money. She's got stacks of money here. She's got a coin in her hand. She's really scrutinizing these books. And so the likely outcome of this was just what happened is that he was able to rake in all the money through all these donations and people are still giving money to him. Um, uh, so yeah, so that seems to be the outcome. Let me read this over and I think I'm going to go ahead and finish this off as a full Celtic cross. So the signifier of this thing was the king of coins. This is Trump. He's the king of getting some money into his hand. Look at that. He was challenged by, look, this is an end, a definite stab in the back. Stop right here. Something new is going to have to start after this end. Uh, the basis of this reading was the knight of coins that he started out with. Someone try, who really felt it was his job to get out there and make this value happen. Also, I think he's so self-absorbed that this thing is really drenched in all about himself, uh, that he felt like he was, or he would be, at least the emperor once he realized that this thing was, uh, was, was his. But in the sky of this reading, it could never be more than this Five of Swords, this abuse of power. But what it did end up being was this Queen of Coins, really this woman scrutinizing her accounts and looking to see every single cent that she could uh, dock into those accounts. I like that. So the final part of this, I don't want to change uh, to go into the second question just yet. I still want to finish with this. Will he be found to be an illegitimate president? Because this is saying, yeah, that he... This doesn't tell me that he's a president. This tells me he's someone who was looking for money. And as a matter of fact, he found it, but at less of a position than he thought. He thought he was an emperor. He became a king. And then in the end, just a queen of coins. Okay, the self of this question, will Trump be found to be an illegitimate president? Look at that, a broken heart. I've got to say, this is uh, what uh, he will experience. 
he will have his heart broken over this. In the environment of what? In the environment of the Two of Wands short-term plans. Okay, so these uh, tent poles are just the beginnings of keeping this tent up. And he never did get this job finished, his future. He's still trying to fight for that. The hopes of the fears of that is the Four of Cups being made an offer that he really doesn't want. No, he wants, he doesn't want a legacy. He wants the president. He wants a dictatorship, and that's what he wants. And he's been given something that he didn't want, which, the, which was, is the possibility of having a legacy of having been a president. But no, he doesn't want to be a legacy. He wants to be the actual thing forever. And then the likely outcome of this whole thing, the question is, will he be found to be an illegitimate president? The world. And I would say this is the beginnings. This is beginnings and endings. But I think more so, look at this. This is the symbol of the Republican Party. It's balanced on this tiny little egg that's going to crack open under the weight, under the weight of the world who actually starts to see them for see him for who he is. He's a great big fat uh, symbol of the worst of that party. Look at this. And it's obvious to the world. So I think that, uh, yeah, Gma, I think that that will be his legacy, that um, he was the illegitimate president. I wouldn't be surprised if eventually in, 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 in um, history books that it comes out that way. Okay, I'm going to take this uh, one down. I'm going to go on to see if he will end up in a mental hospital. So let's go there. Let's go there. So will Trump end up in a mental hospital? And, you know, I can't help but... But realize, you know, his father, in the end, if I'm not mistaken, was uh, Alzheimer's um, in the beginning stages or, you know, somehow enmeshed in that when he died. And, I, and although and when you look at Trump, he doesn't really resemble his father. He's sort of the face of his mother. But that doesn't mean um, that he couldn't end up, you know, completely bonkers, which is a shame because that would be the thing that saves his life. You know, and I've always felt like there needs to be some sort of some uh, some sort of reckoning for what he's he's put us through and what he's done and the Pandora's box he's opened for all the other criminals that are now going to feel like this is attainable to them. They can do what he did better. OK, and take over. But will Trump end up? In a mental institution. I have to mention that one other thing that I come on back to uh, GMA 5 was um, what pains me is the pension that he'll now receive as a former uh, president. So it'd be interesting if that he's actually legitimately found to be an illegitimate president and therefore that pension is revoked because it could be in the end that might be the only source of income he has left. Although there's no doubt that he's got money hidden probably all over the world, if he's smart enough, which I think he is sly enough anyway. So will he uh, end up in a mental hospital? Let's do another six cards. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. I was thinking about going with just three cards, but then right at the last minute, something made me say, let's do six. So that's what we're going to do. Will Trump end up in a mental hospital? <laughs> if I... If I didn't draw another card, this is a great big yes. This is showing us just how little <coughs> value that he ends up uh, having. Okay? Very interesting. I'm drawn to this flag with a clown uh, on the, on the, on, as a symbol flapping in the breeze. So he's a clown. His symbol is a clown flag with very little value. Ace of coins. Challenged by what? Challenged by the four of coins really desperately trying to hold on to his value. Look at that. This fella is holed up in his uh, in his uh, trailer with the four of pentacles just right here. He's grasped onto them and not wanting to let them go for anything. And I can kind of see a crazed uh, Alzheimer's uh, ridden uh, Trump just, you know, looking like this. I think this is a big yes. The base of this reading then is the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune goes round and round and round. But I want you to notice that this Wheel of Fortune, it shows this fella, you know, balancing his way up. He's tumbling down. He's holding on for dear life. And then he's being thrown around in the center here just to land uh, wherever he may. So this is very interesting. And even this um, this uh, spectacle uh, that this uh, performer is going through actually kind of looks like a magnifying glass, doesn't it? So the base of this reading is all of that.
The past to this reading as to whether he will be uh, end up in a mental hospital is the page of coins. And look, so this page is just the very least um, significant of the royal cards. Uh, so a page of coins is just is what he's diminished to uh, in this past to this reading. And then in the sky of this reading is the two, again, repeating from before, the two coins, short-term plans, okay? And certainly, if you're in that sort of a condition to where you're mentally uh, incapacitated, there are no long-term plans for you. It's just getting you from here to there. And then the final outcome of that is the emperor returns as, as the sideshow that he is. This guy is playing to an audience of none. An audience of none. So, Gma. I think you hit it right on the head with both of your questions, and thank you very, very much. So, yeah, that was interesting for that second read. And just to recap it, as to whether he'll end up in a mental hospital, it starts out with the signifiers, it's ace of coins, a tiny little bit of value left in him with that a clown flag flapping in the breeze. Challenged by what? By this guy huddled up into his van with just trying to hold on to whatever little value he has left, which isn't going to be much. And the base of this reading really tells the whole story with this uh, acrobat trying to perform this uh, this uh, act and just being thrown around this wheel almost uh, helplessly. And the wheel actually looks like a magnifying glass to me, looking in on the uh, tragedy that he becomes. In the past, it shows that probably just before he gets to that, he's reduced to just a page of coin. Someone out there really hawking his wares, trying to scrounge up every little penny that he can. In the sky of that reading was the Two of Wands, very short-term plans, no future at all. And then in the end, he's the Emperor playing to a, a crowd of none. So, Gma, I think you nailed it right on the head. Thanks. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.